Hello and welcome to the session. This is Professor Farhat. In this session, we're going to be looking at ed education tax credit. This topic is covered in income tax course, the CPA exam regulation section, as well as the enrolled agent exam. As always, I would like to remind you, my viewers, to connect with me on a personal as well as a professional level. If you have a LinkedIn account, please connect with me on LinkedIn. If you don't have a LinkedIn account, I, I strongly suggest you do so. If you have a Facebook account, please like my Facebook page and connect with me on a personal level. You want to make sure you subscribe to my YouTube. This is where I house all my lectures. Please like my lectures, share them, put them in playlist so other people will benefit as well. I do have a Twitter account and on my website, I do house my lectures organized by chapter and course. This recording is brought to you by Jaeger CPA Review. If you like this recording, you can view hundreds of hours of video lectures similar to this one on Jaeger CPA Review, plus thousands of multiple choice questions with detailed solution, simulations, textbook, audio lectures, ele electronic flashcards, plus others. If you're studying for your CPA or if you are an accounting student, this is a great resource for you. Use code PMF. You will get 10% off Jaeger CPA Review, the best valued course. You would benefit yourself and benefit this channel. Let's talk about education tax credit. The first thing you need to know, we have two type of education tax credit available, which are the American Opportunity Credit, also known as the Hope Scholarship Credit, used to be known by that, and the Lifetime Learning Credit. Now, I'm just going to give you a quick tip. Hopefully, you would remember this, okay? Think of lifetime, you could always have the lifetime learning credit. It means at any point in your life, you can have the lifetime learning credit. It means it comes after the American Opportunity Credit. So the American Opportunity Credit is when you're assuming the first four year of college. So the first four year at college, higher education, you qualify for the American Opportunity Credit. Once you use this up, then lifetime learning credit, you're always available to you. If you go to graduate school, if you take courses, whatever you do, it's available to you. It's lifetime. It's for life. Both credits are available for qualifying tuition and related expenses. Books and other material are, are eligible for the American Opportunity Credit, but not lifetime credit. Now, room and board are ineligible analog for both credits. And here's a summary. Okay, qualify uh, tuition and fees. They qualify under both. Course material only qualify under, which is books, qualify under AOC, doesn't qualify under the lifetime learning credit. Room and board does not qualify under either. So it's basically a summary, if you like, a summary like this. The maximum credit, how much can you get? Of, how much can you get? The American Opportunity Credit, the maximum per eligible student is 2500 per year for the first four years of post-secondary education, which is 2500 And the way it's computed, it's the first $2,000 of your tuition. It's 100% uh, refunded. Well, not refunded. You apply to the credit plus 25% of the next $2,000. So if you spend um, uh, $3,000, if you have if you have $3,000 in expenses, the first $2,000, you'll get it 100% free, which is 2,000 credit, not free. You'll get 2,000 credit. Then the remainder $1,000, you'll get times 25%, which is 250. Therefore, your total credit will be 2,250. Okay? No work examples. I just want to show you how it's computed real quick. Lifetime credit, the maximum per year is 20% of the qualifying expenses up to 10,000. Simply put, you could max credit is 2,000. 10,000 times 20% equal to 2,000. Let's assume you spent $30,000 on your education. Well, you can only take 10,000 times 20%. Let's assume you spend 5,000. So that's 5,000 times 20% equal 1,000. So the maximum credit you will get for the lifetime learning credit is only $2,000. Now, obviously, there are phase out, which we'll talk about in a moment. Okay. You cannot claim uh, the American Opportunity Credit and the lifetime credit for the same individual the same year. Education tax credit, continuing, eligible individual, include the taxpayer, their spouse, and the taxpayer dependent. So if you are in school now, most probably your parents are claiming this credit. To be eligible for the American Opportunity Credit, the, the student must be taking at least half or full-time course load for at least one academic term. So during the semester, you have to be at least half-time. No such requirement for lifetime credit. Lifetime credit, you can take one course, just, just take one course, and whatever you paid for it, $3,000, assuming you qualify under the 
income limitation, that's you know two three thousand times twenty percent. Okay. Obviously, as I told you, both all everything is subject to phase out. So both education credit are subject to phase out. The American Opportunity Credit is phase out beginning when the taxpayer modified. Again, don't worry about modified. Where AGI reaches eighty thousand for single and one hundred and sixty for married filing jointly. The credit is completely eliminated when AGI reaches ninety thousand dollars. So between eighty to ninety, it, you'll start to lose it. And so it's a ten thousand dollar range if you want to know. You know in terms of range and for married filing jointly start at 160 phase out at 180 the range is 20,000 this is the those are the ranges the lifetime learning credit phased out when modified adjusted gross income start at 57 for single 114 400 for married filing jointly and it's completely eliminated at 67 so there's a $10,000 range for a single and $20,000 range for married filing separately in addition, 40% of the American Opportunity Credit is refundable. So the American Opportunity Credit, 40% of refund is refundable and 60% is not refundable. Okay, refundable means even if you don't have any tax liability, you'll get 40% of it back. And the entire credit allowed may be offset taxpayer AMT. Don't worry about AMT. The lifetime learning credit is neither refundable nor AMT tax liability, uh, AMT liability offset. So lifetime is non-refundable. Okay. American Opportunity Credit, part of it refundable, part of it not refundable, okay? So obviously the American Opportunity Credit is better because it's refundable, it's more, it's 2,500, it's refundable, and it does offset your um, uh, AMT. Let's take a look at a few examples to see how this all works. Ed and Lauren paid 3,600 of qualified tuition and related expenses for their son who's, who's in his fourth year of college. These expenses include 454 books and supplies, Okay, since he's in fourth year, it's going to be the American Opportunity Credit, and this will qualify. And without regard to AGI limitation or other credit, they can take the American Opportunity Credit. They will take 2,000 times 100%, which is $2,000. The first 2,000 is the full thing. And 1,600 times 25%, which is, uh, which is 400 dollars which is equal to their credit equal to 2400 now possibly 40 percent of this is refundable it could be and the remainder is non-refundable now notice just want to let you know that the 450 dollar is included with the 3600 so don't take 3600 plus 450 the third 450 is already included Okay, these expenses included 450. Otherwise, the 450 would qualify under the American Opportunity Credit, but it happens that it's already included. During the year, Emmett and Francine paid qualified higher education expenses of 3,000 for their daughter and had $4,000 for their son. Without regard to AGI limitation or other limit, they can claim a lifetime learning credit of, which is 7,000 times 20. So here, what's going to happen is, assuming this is a lifetime credit situation, it's the amount of 3 plus 4 times 20%. Let's take a look at the limitation uh, uh, limitation concept. Chuck and Becky are married, filing jointly, and have a modified adjusted gross income of 116 and pre-limitation lifetime learning credit of 1,200. So they have lifetime of 1,200, but their, their modified adjusted gross, gross income is 116. What do you need to know? We need to know that for married filing, for married filing jointly, uh, the uh, they're going to be limited. They're going to be limited because they are above the limit. Let let me show you the limit for lifetime. Lifetime is one fourteen. Starts at one fourteen. Okay. So so we're going to take one thirty four. The range minus one sixteen. So one thirty four minus 116 divided by 20,000. So this will complete. This is 116, okay? So what's gonna happen, multiply this by 1,200. Therefore, what they can take of the 1,200, they cannot take the whole thing. They can only take 1,080, okay? If their modified adjusted gross income of 1,140,000 or less, then they will take the full amount, okay? If they had a modified adjusted gross income more than 134, then they would lose the whole credit okay so lifetime credit is it starts at 114 
and it fades out at 134. And they happen to be right here at 116. Anything below, they will get the full 1,200. Anything here, they will get a partial amount. And anything here, they don't get anything for the, uh, for the, uh, for the credit. Let's take a look at this example again to illustrate and work the example. Okay. Uh, let's take a look at it. Uh, Paolo and Ezidoro are married, file a joint tax return, and have one dependent child, Dante. The, sh the shots report modified adjusted gross of income of 148. The couple paid 12,000 of tuition and 10,000 in room and board. Just cross out room and board. There's not whether, whether it's the AOC or LLC, you don't you can't use it. A full-time student at Serene College determined the amount of Shaw's American Opportunity Credit. So we're assuming we're assuming their child is in their first four year of college. Okay? So they spend modified adjusted gross income 138. Let's make sure they don't they qualify. So for the AOC, let's see for the AOC uh, when does it when does the face out start? I think it's on the slide I have it. For AOC the American opportunity for married is 160. So there'll be so they're, they're, they're not subject to any phase out, which is good. So therefore what's gonna happen if they pay 12,000, the first 2,000, 100% of the credit equal to $2,000. And the next 2,000 is 25%, which is equal to 500. So they will qualify for 2,500. Remember 40% of this could be refundable and 60% is non-refundable, okay? So this is basically an example of AOC and they don't reach the limit. If you have any questions, any comments about this topic, please email me. If you happen to visit my website for additional lectures, please consider donating. If you're studying for your CPA or you're studying for your college courses, which technically you are studying for your CPA, study hard. It's worth it. See you on the other side.